Good morning, everybody. David Kirsch here, and welcome to HoneycombFit.com. HoneycombFit.com, the destination for health and wellness. Today, today, it's all about the core, right? We've done booty boot camps, we've done compound boot camps, we've done stability ball workouts, Stacy has done workouts, Tracy has done workouts. But today, I'm gonna to focus on my first of a few core blasts. We're gonna set out a couple of rules, right? Right at the beginning, right? Rule number one, form is key, we know that. Connecting mind and body. Making the most of every repetition. I'm gonna get the music going. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about things that I've heard when people do their, their crunches and their sit-ups and, and what bothers them and how to get around that, right? Because that's really key. Um, first and foremost, right? You're going to hollow out the core. What does that mean? You're going to suck your belly in, always keeping it engaged. So if I'm doing a crunch and someone says, my neck is bothering me, you know what's happening, guys? We're here and we're pulling with your head. So. One thing that I've learned that really works is cradling your head in your arms so that when you're down and you're doing a crunch, you're lifting up from your shoulders, hollowing out your core. So if I'm pulling from my shoulders, I'm not straining my neck and I'm getting the maximum amount of exertion where I want it, right in my core. Number two, I wanna make sure that before I start, I lift my butt up and I press my lower back down. So my lower back, I can't get my hand underneath. So now I know I've got contraction, my brain is in my core, I'm focused on a tight, strong, if it's a six pack, we're going for awesome. If we're looking to just get stronger and healthier and lose a little bit, of the extra padding that Winter brought about, I'm gonna help you with that also. Um, remember, it's not just about exercise. So we're gonna talk about things before this session ends, what to eat, what not to eat, and how to really maximize the effect and benefit of everything we do in the gym or in my living room for that matter. Because remember, Honeycomb Fit, we're working out at home we're united, we're strong, we're together. Welcome to my living room. Welcome to Core Blast, here we go. So, first exercise, a very basic one. We're gonna lie, you've heard it, dead bug, right? So right away, the moment I lift my legs up, I'm pressing my lower back down into the floor or the yoga mat, wherever I'm doing it. My arms are up and I just alternate. So if I start with my right leg, my right leg goes down, and this right leg, the right leg goes down, and I just alternate like that. The movement of bringing my knees up engages my lower abs. It's a very basic, now, if this is too much, just holding this, starting this position right here, you're going to focus on your core. I don't care if you're 15, 25, 35, or 65. There's no reason, there's no excuse not to have a strong core. I'll tell you something, guys. My core is stronger than it was when I was 25 years old. And... I'll show you later, right? But it's a combination. It's a combination of good living, good eating, what I drink, what I don't drink, and lots of really great exercises. So the dead bug is sort of a basic intro to core. You get the idea that my core is engaged and by moving my legs, I'm engaging my core. Very, very basic. Okay. Number two, and probably one of my favorite exercises, 
is the oblique crunch. So I'm lying on my side. I'm gonna shift my weight out right here. So it's in the side of my bottom butt cheek. And to start, and I can rest right here or I can rest over here so your neck is nice and relaxed. And just start by lifting your leg up. As I lift my leg up, and again, I didn't tell you, but we're gonna do 10 to 15 repetitions per exercise. So this is four, five, I'm working my obliques. This is a basic movement, we can all do this one, right? Do it when you're at the sofa, watching some TV, pull away from the desk, do little abs. No excuses not to be your, your best you and have a strong, strong core. Now, next level. Crossing at the ankle, arm is down, and I'm just lifting up right here. Again, my torso is relaxed. I'm just lifting up my legs. There you go. Let's get the other side going. I like to say often that when you're doing your core work, less is more. No frenetic movements. I don't want it to be herky-jerky. I don't want you to be pulling on your neck. Be mindful of your back. If your lower back is bothering you, you're probably arching it. If you need to support it, put your hands on your butt. I'll show you that in a little bit. Let's get the other side of oblique crunches. So here I am. And just lifting up my legs. That's all I'm doing. And the motion of lifting up the legs is right here, firing right in my obliques. Ask any of my clients over all the years. Celebrity, not celebrity, people I'm working with now, I love this one. And now for a little ad juge, right up here. Again, we're looking to do 10 to 15 repetitions per exercise, right? Focus on quality, not quantity. Don't sit there going, I did it, it's over, no, right? Every repetition you do when you're doing your core or any other body part for that matter, it's so essential. But with your abs, it's so easy to fake it. And if you fake it, you're not gonna make it. I'm telling you that. 59 and a half years old, my core is stronger than it was before 10, 20 years ago. Diet, exercise, the amount of hydration, and rest, sort of, right? That's what it's about, okay? So we've gotten lying oblique crunches. I'm gonna show you an exercise that may be a little challenging to do, but you can break it down. Remember what I said about leg lifts. Put your hands under your butt, supporting your lower back. Relax your neck. I'm gonna have you come right up, small lifts, just like that. Remember, hollow out your abs, right? So you gotta focus on your abs. Again, if you're a beginner or you have issues with your lower back, don't go all the way down to the floor. A smaller range of motion is fine. Really, more, the more I have my hands under my butt, the more I'm able to scoop it out and protect my lower back. Now, here's the deal. So, we're up. And from this position, without momentum, slowly lift it up. Hips up. This is an awesome lower belly exercise. From your belly button on down. I want you to try that, guys. And the pulse is so, so important. Really good. I got Michelle there, I got Susan there. Oh my God. I've got so many people that I know and love. I love it. Natasha. Awesome. 
Let's go back down, okay? I'm gonna show you a little, a little variation on the theme. I'm gonna curse this one. So you're down right here. Legs are as straight as they can be. And now, small twist. As you're lifting up. That really nails the lower abs and the obliques. It's like, it's like a chisel going Remember, any of you that have seen the books that I've written, the two of them were animated. One was called Abs and Arms. And there I was as a sculptor chiseling out that body. That's how I look at your bodies, right? So, Sylvia, you know it. You, you followed me, you've read my books, you know the programs. If you're mindful of your form and you're mindful of integrating your mind and body through every repetition, right? That's what this is about. It's really, really important. I love that you love the books. Maybe there are gonna be more to come, I don't know. You know, the last book was Ultimate Family Wellness with Amelia Francesca and myself. But I've got a lot going on right now. I'm taking care of clients online and through Zoom. And I'm 100% committed to honeycomb.fit. And we're doing amazing work. Um, you know, reaching out and touching people all over the place. Middle East and Europe and Australia and, and, and the US. And it's so cool. I love that. The ability to reach out. And these programs are for free right now. Honeycomb.fit.com. Go to my channel for all the workouts. Stacy's workouts are off the charts or awesome. Tracy is killing it. Um, Mark Messier will be killing it very soon. I can't wait to train him, right? That'll be really cool. Um, I've got a special guest next week um, that's, gonna, that's gonna join us um, that I'm gonna train on, on, on the site, on the live. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but I think you're gonna love it. Um, she's one of my favorite, favorite people in the whole wide world. All right, next one. All right, so we've done lying oblique crunches, we've done dead bug. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. How about some jackknives, okay? And again, this is something that we can break down. So I'm gonna move back and make sure everyone can see this. So back here, jackknife armed overhead. And again, if you have issue with your lower back, we're gonna modify it. Issue with your lower back, maybe you're just coming up like this in a small crunch hollowing out your core, right? Making sure you're protecting your lower back. If you're able to, lift your legs up. Do the same thing right here. It's amazing. Again, full engagement. Constant contraction of the core. Amazing, okay. And lifting from your shoulders, not your neck. So your neck is not getting sore. Here are jackknives. Reaching right up. So you can see my moves are very controlled. It's very methodical. I don't want to jerk it up. I don't want to use momentum. I'm engaging my core. Remember, my core is in the front and in the back too. So you got to make sure your lower back is strong, especially as we get older. It's so important. Again, I am very mindful of the fact that even though God has blessed me with good genetics, um, I'm mindful of my, my, my parts, my joints, my back, my shoulders. Um, I don't want to have issues, you know, you know, I want to be able to be upright and strong and teaching and motivating you for many, 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 many decades to come, right? So I'm going to go back to the jackknife because I'm going to show you something that I really, really love. So a variation of a theme. I'm all about obliques, right? Who doesn't want to have sexy obliques, right? Sort of that area right there. If you beg my indulgence, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a little bit, a little bit. Let's do a little more crunches first. All right, so if I'm down here, here's the top of my jackknife, and I'm gonna, legs open, and I'm just gonna reach up, reach up. Cleo, say hello to everybody. <laughs> and it's a very small pulse, so my, my shoulders are off the floor the whole time, and I'm just reaching up as high as I can go. A very small and center. Pulse, pulse, 
pulse, pulse, and side, 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 pulse, pulse, side, side, pulse, side, side. So I like to borrow from different disciplines. To me, it's a little Pilates, it's a little yoga, it's a little Kirshi, Kirshi core boot camp. Um, it all works together synergistically, right? Every part of your body needs to be strong and connected. When my core is strong, my back is strong, and I can move better and I feel better. All right, so we're sitting at the sofa, we're sitting on the floor with our kids at the end of the day. Brandy and Millie and I love to do this one. So you're just sitting back right here, I'll show you. Sitting back right here in my hands, legs up. So now that you see it, I'm gonna go forward, legs up. Hold that. And let's just hold it. And let's hold it. If you can go back further, do that. And how about coming right in like that? Right here. Amazing. Easy, peasy, breezy. There you go. Core is tight. Lower back is beautiful. If I have problem, I go down, I sit up, stretch out of my lower back, I'm feeling good again, connected, going right back, and I'm going side, and side, and side, and side, oblique, lower abs, oblique, lower abs, done. Now, let's go back to the forearms, core nice and tight, and point those toes, flutter kicks. This is good flutter kick music too, I think. What do you think, guys? And have fun with it. Core is tight, lower back feels good. Oh. Oh, take a second. I'm gonna turn the music up a little bit, right? I think, is that better, guys? What do you think? Yeah, I like it. Okay. So, watch this. Coming up, and side, and side, and side. So there you are, you're stuck in a conference call. It's going on and on. Hit the mute button, and get your core engaged. Yeah, I'll do that deal, done, done. That's how it is, right? All in here, nice and tight. So, no boring sit-ups, we're doing Jack knives, we're doing oblique crunches, we're doing dead bug, we're doing flutter kicks, we're doing reverse crunches. Everyone can pick something they wanna do. Form is key, form is key, right? Lift from your shoulders, make sure your lower back is not arched, make sure you're not craning your neck, right? So that if you're doing a crunch, I'm repeating myself, but it's so important, cradle your head in your arms. That way you're sure to lift from your shoulders. That guarantees that you're working your core and you're protecting yourself. Michelle, I love you. It's been too long. We gotta do a Zoom, I wanna curse you. We have to do it for old time's sake. One of my oldest long, not oldest in years, but oldest long aesthetic clients. Um, so it'd be nice to get her back. Uh, she did my New York body plan way back in the day and did incredibly awesome with that and has become a dear family friend. There's Cleo over there. She just finished doing her crunches. Debbie, I love you. Get down and do some. Hey Deb, do this with me right now. Have a seat on the floor. I know you can do it. Watch your lower back, legs up, and just bring your thighs up. It's not about bringing your knees in, right? Because if you bring your knees in, you're working your hip flexors. Watch the difference. It's up here, not in here. Very big mistake. Most people doing it will do it like this. And the first thing you feel is a burn, and you're thinking, oh, I got my ab burn. No, you didn't. You got your hip flexor burn. So get your hip flexors out of it. Up, 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 up. And a little twist, 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 twist. I got a little more sleep last night. I feel a little more energized. That's how we do it. 
I want questions, guys. Anybody have any questions, comments? I'm not done yet. Oh no, there are older ones. There are older ones for sure. Joanna, you're welcome. And Deb, you haven't told me if you've done it yet. Um, we're not finished, right? Because we talked about it. And I think all the crunches, all the flutter kicks, all the oblique crunches will go nowhere, right? Abs are made not in the gym, not in my living room, but they're made in my kitchen. They're made in your kitchen. What you eat, what you drink, the amount of sleep you get, the amount of rest you get, vitally, vitally, vitally important to maintaining a strong core, right? So again, at 59 years old, I have to, I'm sorry, please. At 59 years old, you're able to have a strong core, your oblique muscles are there, that's what it's about. Melissa, good morning and I love you. So, Joanna, training your abs, I don't know that you need to do it every single day, but there are so many variations. I've got a core blast too in a few days, you'll see it, and that's more of a plank workout. Um, you can do something every day. I wouldn't mind doing a plank every day, right? Hey Kim, how are you? Kate, again, I am so grateful and so much love to you for always being there. Melissa, we have to do a Zoom, you and I, um, sometime in the next few days, right? So get yourself ready for a 30 minute Zoom. My gift to you because, because, just because. Um, yeah, postnatal, it's a great, great question, Ileana. So if the pregnancy was uncomplicated, you had, um, you know, you had a natural birth, um, it wasn't a C-section, your doctor will dictate when you can get back. Um, you need to listen to the doctor. And, and, and then, um, if you didn't have an issue, right, you didn't have a split, a diastasis recti, where the abdominal wall splits, you can basically, once you get clearance, go right back to it. Um, whatever you were doing before, for sure. Um, if you do have diastasis recti, it's not the end of the world. Um, you don't necessarily need to have surgery. You can get your abs stronger, but there are things you avoid. You obviously are not going to do crunches. You're not going to do a traditional plank, but you could do oblique work and you can do some lower abdominal stuff. You can definitely do the flutter kicks and you definitely can do reverse crunches like we did seated. Um, those are things that are definitely safe. Um, but direct message me and I can give you a full routine on what to do post postnatal. Um, and you know, did you have a boy or girl? Hope everything is good. And I know what I have 10 year old twins. They are a blessing. They are a blessing from God. So the best of luck with that. Okay. We talked about what you're eating, right? Here are the things I like to eat, right? Let's see. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I washed from my girls this morning. So we have organic, only organic berries, right? Raspberries and blackberries, great nutrient rich fruit, good fiber. You want to have fiber, you want to have fruits, you want to have veggies, you want to have clean protein, anything that swims or flies. So chicken, turkey, this is back New York body plan words, right? Anything that swims or flies. Cows don't fly guys, pigs don't fly, sorry. Um, it may be the other white meat, but they don't fly. So I prefer to have chicken, turkey, fish, um, salmon, um, good, uh, good fatty fish, mackerel, sardines, so healthy, healthy fats, seeds and nuts are really important and very healthy um, apples. Very good. Not apple juice, right? Because you need the fiber. So no fruit juice. How about supplements and vitamins? What do you take any, oh my God. I take about 40, Tina, I take about 40 supplements a day. That's a whole different, I think maybe I'm gonna do a session on supplements, but carnitine, glutathione, glucosamine, uh, carnosine, taurine. Uh, those are just a few of the ones. Oh, and mushrooms, um, uh, uh, turkey tail, and cordyceps, and chaga, and um, uh, branch chain amino acids, and yeah, that's just a couple. But again, we can talk about it. I love almond butter, fresh almond butter, right? So you know that I go, I go to the store now, or I'll make it myself. 
So a tablespoon of almond butter and apple is amazing. And it's a good protein and fat that'll slow down the, the sugar spike. Very important. I'm gonna lower this a little bit, okay? Because I wanna talk to you a little more. I'm gonna go on, I know it's past my time, but so what? What do you think about protein shakes? Well, I'm gonna swallow. I'm gonna swallow, I can't chew my mouth, it's rude. But I love protein shakes, and I think good protein shakes. Um, I'm a big whey protein uh, shake guy. I've got my own line of supplements. We're relaunching them, so stay tuned, guys. I'm very excited. I launched them in 04, 2004. Um, Kate, you know, Germany was a huge market for me. Um, we're relaunching them. They're gonna be even more delicious. We're gonna have a, a organic vegan protein. We're gonna have a whey protein. We're gonna have um, my famous um, thermo bubbles and some other products. So stay tuned, it's happening. I think protein shakes are really important because look, we were busy. I'm working, I'm single parenting, I'm house cleaning, I'm cooking, I'm shopping, uh, oh, I'm taking care of the cats. So if I need, and I'm going in sessions and this, I need to have a good source of protein. So a good protein shake, right now I'm doing Optimum Nutrition. Optimum Nutrition is a great shake. Um, Legion is another one that's great out there, but stay tuned because mine is even better. I'm telling you it is. 100% natural, um, nothing artificial. That's what's key, so look for that. I don't want sucralose, I don't want things like that in there, I don't. I want it to be clean and natural. I don't want it to have a lot of sugar, no cane sugar. So other things you're gonna avoid, soft drinks, sports drinks, sorry. We're not, we're not uh, uh, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, right? If you are, direct message to me and we can talk about that. Um, we're not going to be having diet soda. We're not gonna be having worse than regular soda. We're staying away from it. Um, uh, what else? Okay, don't kill me guys, right? I'm just the messenger. Alcohol, right? You wanna have, you want to have a core that's strong and tight and you want to be proud of it. Um, the less alcohol you drink, um, the better and easier it is to maintain your strong core, your strong tongue core, for sure. Alcohol is sugar, so you want to try to avoid it for sure. I'm sorry. Um, a glass of red wine every now and again is not going to be terrible. Tequila would be the alcohol of choice because it's got the least amount of carbs and sugar and consequently less of a hangover. Um, and a little bit goes a long way. So I definitely have been known to have a shot or two of tequila, but not once during quarantine. So, um, and never drink alone. That's, um, and uh, Susan, we will have amino acids for sure. Um, pasta, so look, a bowl of pasta every now and again is not gonna kill you. Um, I'll tend to have the gluten-free, lentil, bean, brown rice, there are so many, to chickpea, Bonza makes amazing chickpea pasta. So there are so many alternatives than processed flour. So I really want you to avoid the processed sugars, flours, refined, keep it whole, keep it natural, um, keep it balanced, right? Um, healthy fats are important, avocado and nuts and seeds, supplementation really important, it really is. Today, more than ever before, um, Limiting uh, stress, so vitally important, right? Stress boosts cortisol, cortisol is belly fat. You gotta really watch it out there. Everything out there is stressful. We're walking around like mass, mass men and women. It's crazy, right? So stay calm, stay focused, move your body, connecting your mind, mind and body all the time. Honeycombfit.com is an amazing destination place for everything health and wellness. Um, United together, strong, fit, healthy. Have an apple today. And I'll see you at 5.30 for a masterclass in shoulders. What to do, what not to do, how to engage, disengage, how to have a good time. I'm gonna up tempo it a little bit because I think you like it and I like it too. Guys, I love you. I love that you're tuning in. You can see this and all the other workouts on honeycoatfit.com, my Instagram channel. We're gonna be archiving them, we're gonna be saving the workouts. Stacy's workouts, Tracy's workouts, my workouts. We're the dynamic team. We're here to make you fit, we're here to make you healthy. Be safe, 
and we'll see you soon. Bye.